Hey guys, what's up? So you remember the uh, the pickups that I had gotten? Uh, a few of you will remember the John Petrucci Crunch Lab and Liquifier set. Um, I bought a guitar and it was supposed to have them in and they weren't in. And so they actually shipped me a whole new set. Um, so I got the guitar with the pickups uh, that are in them aren't too bad themselves. Um, so anyway, uh, that was a nice little touch there. Um, that was the SA120. Uh, and the pickups just kind of sat. They just sat and they sat. So I decided I would just sell them because right now I'd rather have the money. But this guy had posted a pick guard loaded. And uh, I was like, hey, I wonder if you would just swap even Steven. And uh, because uh, I just like strats. And the guy said, sure, sounds good to me. I was like, oh, okay. So he finally came by today and he dropped them off. And I want to shout out Mr. CCJ Music for, you know, I'd asked him what he thought about it because... You know, I, I, mainly I want to know if it was a fair deal, if he thought it was a fair deal to swap. Like, I know that new, those were like 180 but if you go and you price at Fender, I don't know. You'd have to look, but I would say it's probably not too far off from 150 ish or something like that for a brand new loaded pick guard uh, from uh, Fender's player series, which is Fender's baseline, but it's an upgrade from what they used to be. So, let me show you what it is and we'll take a closer look because I don't know how many videos are out there anyway of the actual pit guards. Um, but I'll try to get as much light in here as I can as well. And yeah, I hope you'll forgive the lighting. I'm trying to put this in 1440. So, uh, if you have to pause it and see it, maybe it'll look pretty good. I don't know. All right. So, the story is the guy bought this um, and he got it uh, two weeks ago. And he opened it up, pulled the pick guard right off, and put his own on there that he had that was a very expensive one. Um, so as you can see, the sticker's still on here. And funny enough, it's a tortoise shell that's like on my classic vibe. Uh, and this came off of a, it looked like a yellow buttercream colored strat. Oh man, it was beautiful. And so, uh, yeah, this is it. There's the often imitated never duplicated fender that's kind of like their uh their gibson-esque kind of thing of authentic i think um and yeah he just pulled this thing off and he did not leave the i didn't get the ground wire <laughs> that goes to the thing so he pulled it from the actual i'll show you in a minute but tell me what you guys think first off what do you think do you think it was an even trade um, it's too late now if it's not. Just getting your opinions, uh, something to do. There's a little water drop from when the, I was outside. I had to get it and it was raining and so I dried everything off best I could. Make sure there's nothing dripping out here. Um, nope, there's not, okay. Uh, all right, so yep, there's the little knobs. Let me get in the light here so you can see better. Brand new, he said he never even played them, so he never even, pl he played it for like five minutes, you know, making sure everything worked. Then he pulled the guard off and put his own on. There's some older guy, so it was pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm, wow, what is that on that little knob there? A little piece of plastic, a little nub there on the plastic. Who cares? I really don't care about that. Um, yeah, it's just a little piece from where the, the mold goes. But yeah, three ply tortoise shell, official fender guard. I'm gonna turn it over in a minute. And what's really cool, the knobs feel really good. Really good. They're they're nice and smooth. No noise. And this thing feels good. <laughs> really good. Uh, yeah, so here's the tops of the pickups. There's a little bit of like something on here, like a waxy kind of. I wonder if there's still plastic on this on the pit guard itself no there's not okay but yeah it needs to be wiped down a little try to get that um but yeah like i said brand new uh i'll pull the plastic off of it once i get it set in or i might do that before i don't know you can see this still still has the guard plastic on there. there's usually two plies um but yeah all 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 three of the pickups here as you can see Yeah, nice and close up there. 
Yeah. So I got a loaded pick guard from the player strat series. These are Alnico 5. They're kind of high output Alnico 5. Now we're going to go one at a time. Try to get it in the light you guys can see. A little close up of what these uh, pickups look like. Yeah. There we go. That's a good shot. As you can see the little number there. I don't think that, that matters. I don't know how good these pickups are. All I know is a lot of people say that they're really good. They're a good upgrade for the baseline uh, of Fender. You know, made in Mexico. This is what they're using now. Um, so, yeah. 131 right here. And then 132 here. And you can see a little red marker on there. I, w I wonder what that means. Why they're red markers on these uh, pickups and the wires are your standard affair fender they're a little they're colored yeah yeah they look pretty cool and they got the fender little deal here as you can see it says pick guard assembly strat 2018 tortoise mm -hmm. Now here we go with, let's do the pots first. Here we've got this little uh, 250K, oops, 250K A. And the little guy here is the official caps that Fender uses, so you know it's legit. Um, as you can see there, a little hair on there, probably from Joda already. Yeah, and nice little wiring. Looks like it's done pretty good there, right? Mm-hmm. 250A. Yeah. Nice job there, Fender. Okay, and here's the... Let's do the middle one now. Middle pickup. I think we already did. But yeah, that's the 132. 133. They look pretty clean. I like the way they uh, they seat. Um, they don't have those big fat magnets on the bottoms. Yeah, there. I got the pots too here. Now, you'll have to tell me what I've got to solder here. Like, he took the ground wire off and the wire that goes to the, um, to the coupling. You know, your input or your output jack. Usually those are hanging off when they pull these off. But he, he, took, he, he says he snipped the wires. So I think that's one right there on that middle prong. Yeah, so one's going to have to be there. And then I think one comes off of here as well. I'm not sure. I have to look at a diagram. And yeah, so you can see here how each one of them looks. Now let's get a close-up of this guy. This is what they put in all of the Fender Pros and, or Standard USAs and all that. It's the same. They use the same stuff, so I'm not that worried. And to be honest, these pickups... They might be a little bit higher output, but they are Alnico 5. I think they're going to sound great. They may not be the best, but they're going to work fine for me. Because I've never had Alnicos. So, and then here is the 5-way. The now, this thing is supposed to have the tone mod for this, third, or for this bridge pickup. <clears throat> yeah, so if you look here, you'll be able to see it. It should be one wire touching in two places i don't see it right off bat but it's supposed to have it um uh, i wouldn't know where to look really but yeah pretty cool so yeah there it is that's what it looks like guys that's what it looks like inside of the player series strats this is what they're using right here so that's it. So you guys can leave a comment what you think about this trade. Was it a fair trade? It's too late now, but I would just like to know your opinions. I think I did pretty good. You know I'm a Strat guy, and when I get back on my feet, I'll buy whatever. By then, I'll know what I like more. And these being on Nikos, uh, I'll get more of that twanginess, you know. And I wanted to have one Strat one way and one the other, so... If I like these a lot, then whichever other guitar that doesn't have El Nico pickups, I'll put those in. You know, I did kind of want to get that Gilmore kind of tone, so. But we'll see what happens. And I do want to thank CCJ. He's the one who gave me some things to think about before I made the trade. But I went ahead and jumped on it. I figured, hell, if nothing else, if I ever get another cheaper Strat or if, you know anything like that, I'll have a an extra pick guard, either this one or I'll have one that I pulled from the other. So all good.
So, appreciate you guys coming to check this out. Thank you very much. And I'll probably do a little bit of playing tonight again. And maybe get one of those up. But, yeah, that's it. Player Strat Loaded Pick Guard. So, also would like to ask if you guys know... Does everything look okay? You can let me know if everything looks okay. You can check out the wiring and pause it um, and see what you guys think about that wiring job. If everything looks good, it looks good to me. I, I wouldn't know, like I said, but it looks like just one of these is where a wire will come off and go to that spot. There was that area right there and then one will be a ground and then into the the jack so all right guys so thank you so much for coming by joda says hi and this is rob we shall talk to you guys later peace